Stoops, University of Kentucky football coach. Mark, you and I have talked after many big wins over the last decade, but I'm not sure yep. I, that I've seen you guys so thoroughly, I'll use the word, dominate a game that was kind of of this importance. You've got to be thrilled. Uh, I really am. I, I, please, that, you know, you've watched the games, you've heard me afterwards, and listen, we've done some good things. But I knew, I knew we were getting really close to playing some really good football. And I think our team has felt the exact same. And uh, we had an opportunity today on a big stage against a big rival and team uh, to put it together and play well. We were at home, great crowd, great atmosphere. And I really did love the fact that how we started so strong and just, just both sides of the ball, just, just playing really good football. So physical, creating explosive plays, creating some energy in the stadium. So, you know, really proud of the group. I thought our I thought our coaching staff has just done a great job here this week. Well, another fumble by Georgia. Auburn up 17-10, and now they have the ball after another fumble. You know, Mark, I know you don't think about these things. You're getting ready for the game, but I'm in the media, so I see this stuff. The stage was kind of set. You're on the noon game on ESPN right after game day. The other big game is USC Colorado, and early it's a blowout. So the whole country was kind of watching this game, and then you put this performance out there. That's great for the program, isn't it? Yeah, it it definitely is, uh, without a doubt. And, you know, we knew as the season went on the competition was going to, you know, increase. And, and, you know, we, we, you know, stepped up as well. And uh, I was very confident as the way our team has been preparing for the last couple of weeks and, you know, preparing that we were ready to step up. We were ready to improve. And, and I know sometimes fans or even media, and I, I haven't seen anything. I don't know. I mean, but I imagine some people were probably a little panicked here and there. And, and I really wasn't. I knew, I, I know the attitude of this team. I really like them. I like the way they're going about their business and working and they're hungry, you know, things like that. They knew we were leaving things on the floor, on the field, and in the same way today, well, you know, we really played a good game and looked really good during long stretches. But we yeah. also know we could be better. We're leaving some things on the field, and we'll continue to work at that. Yeah, you could look at those first four games, and I, I didn't get the sense there was panic, but I did. Th- I do think there were fans who were like unsure whether the team was good. But I would say, and I said a lot, look, they were a play here and there from having like big results. You know, a holding. There would be a, a, yeah. a false start or, or something happened. Yeah. And then even today, Barry on drops that ball in the end zone. A couple of times you have yeah. the quarterback wrapped up but just can't get him down. I mean, it, it feels right. like you guys have been just a couple plays from, like, looking amazing this year. Well, you're right. And even in this game, a couple plays of really looking thoroughly dominant because on both of their touchdown drives, we had opportunity to create sacks, and it's hard to – to overcome if we have them second and extra long. You know, we, yes. we missed a sack on first down, you know, at the end of the, the, the first half. And uh, so, anyway, we, we've had some plays here and there. But you know what? A little adversity is good for a team. You know what I mean? It, it, it introduces a man to himself and a team to themselves. And, you know, the, you know some adversity is okay. you got to learn from it. you got to grow. The end of the first half, I didn't like the way we had a bad offensive possession. They go down and score. We go into halftime, okay, nobody panic. Let's get back. Let's take a look at all the things that are good and, you know, where we could improve. And we come right out in the second half and go down and score. That was and, a great uh, drive. You know, that, that was a great drive, yeah. Mark. That That's a drive. I, yeah. You know, all right, you're watching that game objectively. They scored. It's 23-7. Yeah. You all get the ball. Yeah. If you don't score there, maybe it's a game, and you all go right down there and score. Yeah, yeah I thought it set the tone for the whole second half because I said it all week, and it's true. You know, it, the game was going to be set up. Both teams needed to run the ball. You know, and, and we fortunately got up enough to got them a little bit out of that. And we also held up pretty good in the run game. So, you know, by the fact that we were able to run the ball and create explosive plays and, 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 and they weren't, you know, that, that was the difference. I said that all the way back since Monday. I said, it on, you know, Monday in my press conference, Monday in my, you know, the, the, the call-in show and again on Thursday. I mean, it's a line of scrimmage game. Florida, you know, needs to be committed to running the ball, as we do. And, um, you know, we were able to have the success there today. Uh, Ray Davis and the offensive line. I mean, obviously Ray, especially early, was making crazy good runs. But there was also holes that we really hadn't seen a lot early in the year. 
I mean, how do you – I don't want to say how do you explain, but you had to be pleased that, like, it felt like your your offensive line took it personally this game and really came out and, and was physical. I definitely think they took it personal. I thought a week ago we were getting closer with moving Eli to center. A Jagger, I knew I, – I haven't watched the film yet, but I know he improved from the first game to the second game at guard. I could just tell by the way we played. And, um, you know, we, I, I thought Liam had some really good calls again. I thought the first play of the game was a really good call. That, that was, you know, that, that was a, uh, it's a power play, but we have a wrap. You know, we have another guy pulling. And, you know, and when they're all geared up and running straight downhill, you know, it's a hell of a play to open the game. And then I think we hit a big counter next. And so our gap schemes were hitting them. And, uh, you know, we mixed it up in the run game very well. And, again, I said it earlier, but I, I just think our coaches really had a good plan in all areas. You know, Brad did a, a heck of a job like he always does, you know, on the defensive side. And, you know, our special teams were, were solid, but they were pretty damn good on the special teams today as well. Yeah, they were. They but, got a great uh, punter. You know, That's yeah, two weeks in a row do, you've had a, been playing a great punter. Yeah, I, uh, no, there's I, no doubt. You know, I, I know you have respect for the other team, so I'm not saying this. I'm not trying to get you to say anything like this, but I just want to yeah. just historically, I, I watched 30 years of Kentucky losing to Florida where it was clear they had the better players at every position. Now you get to this year, you guys can look at a team like Florida and for years in a row have now played them and been as good or better in all of those games. To me, more than almost anything I've seen you do, that is symbolic of the change in this program is that you play a team like Florida and you are not only not outmanned, you might be outmanning them. You, do you do you ever kind of sit there symbolically and say, look, I mean, this is just a different place than when I got here? Well, I'll, I'll say this. You know I always have respect for all of our opponents because, listen, I, I know in, in my world, you know, it's every seven days you have an opportunity to be humbled. Yes. So I never try to beat my chest after a big win or – you know, go go off or any, anything like that. You just keep things in perspective, grind it out, do the best I can, and, you know, all those things. But I think you could tell from my tone that, that I was confident all week. I don't yes, know how things are going to play out. You know, I don't, I don't know how they're going to play out. But I told the team before I left, one of the last things I told them, that I was, going, I was damn glad I was going out on the field with them, you know, with this team. And, and you know, we talked about that before I went out, and I told them that at halftime. And, uh, you know, I like this team, and I, I like their hunger. They're, I think we're, we're a little more unified than we were a year ago. I think, you know, we, I had to put, you know, my foot down on all that. And, uh, and they've been very unselfish. And another point I brought up on Monday, I said, no matter if, if any of these guys didn't have any individual accolades, no, you know, the sack, a fumble, or catches, run, I said, if we walk in here Monday unified, and we have a team victory, and you personally don't get any recognition, it'll all be worth it. And to a man, I, I truly believe they all buy in, they all believe that, and are all playing for each other. That's the way we played today. I'll give you one more because I know you want to go celebrate for the evening. I, you always have yeah. a view that I really like, which is enjoy these wins because they don't, you know, they're hard to get, yeah. and you start worrying about next week, tomorrow. But, you know, there's a chance you all might be playing with college game day in town again, just like you were two years ago. That's not been announced, but it's possible it'll be one of two games, and you've got a shot to be one of them. Either way, it's going to be prime time on ESPN yeah. with the whole country watching. A really great opportunity. How excited are you about going to Athens with all that will be on the line and getting a chance to, like you did two years ago, like you did three years ago, have a shot to compete yeah. against the best? Well, I mean, you know, you, you got to love that. You know, I mean, you just look at it. And I, I said it, you know, also in the media this week, like I know what lies ahead of us, you know, starting with today. And, um, you know, I'm glad we took care of today. And uh, we will enjoy it tonight. And I will be back at that office in the morning, and our staff will be in there working our tail off. And we'll look at the good things we did today and see how we can continue to build on that, look at areas where we need to improve. And then we're going to get on Georgia, and we're going to work hard and, and, uh, you know, if our team keeps the same attitude that they've had, and, and I have no, no doubt they will, then we're just going to go grind it out during the week. You know, these, game, these games are won throughout the week. Everybody wants to win on Saturday. It's how, how dedicated are you on Monday when you're not feeling good. Our guys were physical. I mean, this was a physical game today. We had a lot of guys that were banged up. 
and uh, some guys really fought through it. And, um, you know, we're going to have to re-evalu- evaluate that a little bit. But, man, there's going to be some dudes that need to get in ice tubs because uh, it was physical. And so, But we will be uh, chomping at the bit, and we'll be at, back at work tomorrow, and we'll be on that practice field Monday ready to roll. I saw Brad and Robinson both kind of went out with an injury. Are they both all right, the receivers? I hope so. We'll see. I think so. I, I, I think they both could have finished the game. Gotcha. Um, okay. They wanted to, but, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, enjoy it, Mark. Thank you for always making the time after these games. We appreciate it. You got it. Thank you all.